Hello everyone, Sigma Later here. Welcome back to Silent Hill 3. Right. She doesn't want to go back in there because Creepo is in there. Right, so it only gives us one option. Go back this way. Good, he's now dead. Oh, so got a door ahead of me. Oh, I've got plenty to check out here. Depending on how many of these are unlocked. Okay, so this one works. Oh. oh, right, okay. Okay, I can just open the doors and get back out again. Okay, let's do that because I want to check that I want to check that other door. I thought I might have triggered something I wasn't ready to trigger yet. Alright. So, okay, yeah. Right, what floor am I actually on? I am on the second floor. Right, that's fine. Alright, let's try the first floor. So that's just blocking the way. Alright. You're locked. Yeah, there's some cash on the system right now.
I have certainly nothing in the fridge's liver. Hope it's not rotten. Okay. Apparently I need that for some reason. I'll leave you to your uh, little nap. I'd rather not waste my new shotgun shells. Uh, monster at the end there, that door's locked. Okay, so I can't go anywhere else, so let's go check out the other floors. Let's try the third floor. Okay, so it's not happening. Let's try the fourth floor. Uh, nothing useful here. Okay, apparently I can't go those, those ways anyway. I didn't see why. Oh, okay, that's why. Massive hole in the floor. All right, understandable. Have a great day. You're locked. You're also locked, so there's nothing I can do on this floor. All right, then. Door there. Alright. Doesn't look particularly interesting. I wonder if I'm supposed to use that pork liver on the monster that's on the first floor. Maybe. Let's check out these other floors first. that way ah a door that's not locked Good more bullets. I will take those. 
No more cigarettes for me, I quit for good. Didn't realise you were ever a smoker, but that one, that's recent. Creepy dog noises. No. Ah, I'm on the other side of the thing now. Okay, that's cool. Good, this is a safe point. There's that painting. Let's just quickly grab this. Gallery. Uh, flame purifies all, but these remains may a person find the road to paradise. I've seen this picture before. No, wait, I've never seen it, but I do know it somehow. Right, that's broken. Right. Whatever I need for this room, I don't have it yet. It's probably in the area where that wheelchair was. That was coated in ominous lighting. What? There's a big sheet of glass in the way. Break it. Okay. Okay, the only thing I can think to do is go back to the, uh, the lift, check out the sixth floor. These doors with the blue lights are the ones I can go through. That would make sense. Okay, let's try the sixth floor. No. Accessories, gotta do something with it before it goes bad. Hmm. I'm gonna test my theory.
No, okay. Uh, you use this to disinfect cuts and stuff. Phones from you. Put it on. Sorry, so I've already got that. Oh, that would have helped. Once upon a time, there was a monster living at the gates of a village. It was a very scary and very bad monster. It would catch people and crunch them up with its big teeth. The villagers were afraid of the monster and no one would dare approach the gates. Everyone was stuck inside the village. When the king heard about this, he summoned his knights. The knights eagerly rode out to defeat the monster. Ha! Take that! Their swords slashed and their spears, spears flashed, but the monster wouldn't die. The monster tossed the knights into its mouth one by one, horses and all. What was the king to do? He fretted and fussed and paced the floor, but couldn't think of no solution. Soon after the vi uh, village priestess came to the castle, she was a very kind and good person. The king asked her to defeat the monster guarding the gates. Books torn, the rest is missing. I remember reading this a long time ago. I think I borrowed it from someone. I don't remember how it ended though. Didn't I read the story through to the end? Is this the monster from that book? If it is, I don't if I, and I don't watch myself and it'll gobble me up in no time. I can't tell where its mouth is though. Right, okay. Okay, so uh, there wasn't anything of any particular interest on the second floor, was there? No. Third floor I can't access. Four floors are no go. Fifth floor, there's a picture there. Maybe I use the meat there. There was a bucket to put something in. Right. Let's try that then. there to the right no I don't yes I do I need to go all the way around to the other side no wait I'm the wrong way already Probably won't work, but what am I supposed to do with this? I think this is going to produce oxygen, but what good is oxygen on its own? I need a lighter, I need a lighter, don't I, or something? Which I don't have. Vases on the floor looks expensive too. What a waste. There's a picture here, it's gone. Now there's just a caption. 
Alright, so I am supposed to mix the meat and that thing together. I don't have means of uh, igniting it. Memos. No, don't need that one. Only one picture in the gallery. That one. This can't, those can't be the only memos I have. I don't know. Well, this is annoying. There was something else in here I missed. I'm going to test out something actually. Let me. Torch off. No, okay, that doesn't do anything. Ah! Matchbook. There we go. See, I told you. I don't know what you lot are panicking about. Uh, yep. So now... Combine. Combine. Use. And now I've set fire to the painting. Oh no! As you do. Um. Well, this isn't very pleasant. might this be? The rest of the fairy tale I read earlier? Maybe. Looks like it might be. The priestess accepted the king's request and went to the village gates, but when she saw the monster she tried to convince it with words instead of killing it. Shut up you, I'm going to eat you up. The monster didn't listen to a word the priestess said, but she kept trying to convince the monster to give up. It's wrong to eat people you know. The monster grew very angry at this and attacked her, killing her with a single mighty blow. Okay.
messing about with you lot. to hide. on my ammo and I went into bed I didn't encode it what you can't be using that many resources on this OBS fourth floor. Alright, that's the door I unlocked, so that's fine. Right, there's loads of little bastards out there, so I need to be quick. Too many, not dealing with that lot. Alright, what have we got here? Silver coin. Lamp shining on some old silver coins I know I've seen before. I got one earlier, so I shouldn't really take any more. What was that last one? I don't need any more coins. No, forget about. Oh, God, I keep skipping things unintentionally. Oh, wait. Thus, one's life turns to riches. What was a bag of silver coins is now the number in a book. Yet, fate have. Yet, yeah, fate have no price. Ah, uh, but do people know this? Just a plain old vending machine, this one selling canned drinks. Come to think of it, I am kind of thirsty. I'd feel weird drinking anything sold in a place like this, though. Well. Let's get a drink anyway. Oh, no drink in there. We do have a key. Life insurance key. Okay. All right. Okay, so that's now all done. I can now make it to elevator. Uh, life insurance key. What would that be needed for?
Hmm. There's a locked door on the first floor, so maybe for that one. Right. What I'm going to do... Go down to the second floor for now. Maybe that's what was using resources. I don't know. Which one right through here? Here we go. Oh, right. I'm going to end this episode here. I want to know why encoding overloaded. Why is it overloaded? You should you should not be using. This should not be that demanding. I don't know what's going on with OBS, so I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I feel sick later. This has been Silent Hill 3, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.